Hello now. Can you hear me now? Is there sound? I look a hot mess right now. Hi guys. Hi, hi, hi. I'm in the middle of doing like 50 things. Uh, rep. Rep. Track Gangster. Squirrel Girl. Lisa. Flicking. Sharon. Title got you. Oh, good. Okay. Eve, and I gotta get the link here one second for Remain Calm, whose channel is in the description, by the way. I have a special guest, special guest, someone that I've very much enjoyed conversations with lately. She's gonna pop up here. She knows what I've been busy doing because I've been, like, before I lose this stuff and to keep it up in the files, I've been just sending her random shit from, like, two years ago. <laughs> Hi everyone, Lady Lolo, Sweet D. So slow mode is on to 10 seconds. I'm just going to leave it at that um, because it is kind of jumping fairly quickly. So I'll leave it at that. Um, I may miss your question. Forgive me. You can always ask it again. But um, we have so much to go through that, you know, it's, this is just part one of many because we got to go back you guys we have to go back and i think we're going to start it off with what really sparked me the other day i'm going to pull it up wait for remain calm to get up here because i want to i want to hear what she has to say too mm -mm. where was i what um Hmm, so much. I can't even tell you the amount of stuff we've been taking in. Here we go. I see you. Hello. Hey, Blue. What's up, girl? Oh, I don't know if I can hear you. Hold on. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, I can hear you now. Okay, good. Hey, Wandering. Hey. Can you see chat and everything, too? I can see everybody. Okay, good. We are good. I'm um, eating, so forgive me. I know people yell at me about chewing in the mic. Cotton candy boobs. Hey, sis. Love you. Okay, I'll turn my camera on after I have a little something to smoke. Um, okay, so remain calm. Yes, ma'am. I'm going to pull something up. It's something we have all seen a hundred times. Okay. And um, I'm just going to play it, and then I'd love your reaction on it before I say it. Okay. So I just want to find it, so I guess I'll have to go in my history. You've been busy, too. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so... Da, 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 da. Hey, Eve, darling. Hey, all the girls. Hey, girls. And if there's a guy in there. Oh, I'm sure. Mr. Share's probably listening while he's working. Not sure. Can't type, though. Okay, so I want to... Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> I've watched way too much stuff. Okay. <laughs> I know how that... I know how that feels. Yeah, and then now I want to pull it up, right? And it's now buried all over again. Okay. Well, I'm sure if you even tell me what the conversation is, I could probably give my opinion on it. I don't want to because I'll say the part that's what I want to show and I don't want to give it away. I got okay. it. I, it's, it's in here. You can uh, entertain the audience if you would like oh. while I look. <laughs> I don't know if they would really want me to entertain them. Okay, I can f freaking find it hey, this Vic. way. I got hey, an idea. Sexy wild thing. Sexy wild thing. Sexy wild thing. I got an idea. I know I sent it to somebody, so I can hey, just JPL. go back and then click on it. And Crazy it'll be mama. Mystery. 
Lucy Cat, Squirrel Girl, Eve, my girl. Okay, so it's on WJHL. Okay, so that will make it easier. Okay, hold up. Wait a minute. Okay. So. Dun, dun, dun. I feel like I'm going to get a bloody nose. The weather's so weird. I Sometimes I get a bloody nose. Yeah, it's randomly. really bad here, too. Yeah. I think I'm gonna... Okay, so my history. Do you have Boom. a date? I got it. I found it. Okay, share screen. Present. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, so before I pull this up, I want to get a feel. Let's get a feel for people that are in here. Okay, remain calm. Are you of thinking that Summer Wells is alive, or are you someone who feels that um, she is not alive? Uh, to be honest, I think anything's possible. Me too. Anything's Me too. possible. Okay. Me too. So I was looking around. Sometimes when we listen to the people that surrounded Summer, um, it's very easy to lose hope in always listening to the past tense remarks, which is a lot um, and has been ongoing like that. So I like to try and go back and find something that can give hope of being able to think of her as alive still and not past tense, if that makes sense. Well, we have to realize, too, when a lot of times when you hear um, Don and Candace, per se, talking in past tense, mm -hmm. do we look at that as um, kind of a backslide educational thing? Or, right. um, you know, is it is it a, them a speaking slip? in past tense? Right. Because they are aware of it, too. Exactly. So, and I don't know how I feel about knowing that they are aware of it like that. Right. Right. I don't, myself, I don't really like, like, I wish we didn't hear him say, like, oh, and everyone's getting on us about past tense, da, da, da. That tells me that somebody has already had that conversation with them and to be aware of it is that yeah, something that, that the law would say like hey you're speaking a past tense maybe you shouldn't do that and be aware of it or is that somebody someone else around them i think it's somebody else around them pointing right. that out to them because we have to remember their first interview was what june the 23rd i think it was the 18th Okay, it might have been the 18th. I, I think I've got like the 23rd. I could be wrong now. Because um, they, they did the um, news thing, but before they did the news thing, they actually started on YouTube because they were like, they weren't just on the news yet, but they were talking about how they just recorded it for the news. For the news, okay. Yeah. Hey, crazy mama. Okay, so some people don't think she is. Okay. Don will see her in the resurrection right when evil entered, right? There's that. We called Don out past tense long ago on a live. Yeah, we did. We did. But even way before that, they were aware of it. They were aware of speaking in past tense the day they reported Summer missing. But for sure, uh, June 18th, within... Uh, 15, within 16, days, 17, yeah. yeah, within 72 hours of her gone missing, somebody, <coughs> excuse me, definitely had a conversation with them about the way they're, they've been talking. So it started immediately. Hey, vibes. Because when did you, when did you first start speaking to Dawn? Um... I want to say nine days after her disappearance or her reported disappearance i believe <laughs> i tried right away but it took him a couple days because you know he was being bombarded and i was probably in a folder or whatever of not knowing right or whatever. so it did take a few days okay i'm gonna pull this up
so you you remember this one here or I took the um what's the date does it say I guess that's two, years, two ago. years ago okay June 25th okay. 2021 so June 25th so that's what 10 days after her disappearance okay let me okay. just pull the chat up here. You got your notes for that time? Yes, I do. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to pull up my so I can see the chat. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and play this here. Breaking news at 6, day 9 in the search for 5-year-old Summer Wells. And investigators say they are heartbroken and extremely frustrated as the case is taking longer than usual to resolve. Okay, so they said day 9, right? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh and they're heartbroken okay thanks for joining us at six i'm sarah diamond i'm josh smith take a look at some new photos of summer wells that we obtained today summer's mother shared these with us There's grandma on her phone or something tablet i guess back there us. in a news briefing late this afternoon the tennessee bureau of investigation said the search for summer is quote definitely outside the norm definitely outside the norm now hey lip me, blocked i'll let you finish playing this first before mm. i comment <laughs> hi leandra i'm okay. already ready to comment <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay uh, let's, all right it comes to the standard amount of time for a missing persons case like this Okay, before I go on, if this is even the right one, before I go on, go ahead with what your comment, or what your already, what your comment is already. Well, because Let as I'm reading through my notes, I already have in parentheses, um, questioning uh, now is Summer still alive. There you go. Okay, good. I'm okay. Good notes because this is exactly why I want to play this. Okay, so we'll go on now. Typically, in an invest, I want you guys to watch everything, not just listen to the words coming out of her mouth, listen to the questions, and watch her behavior and her uh, overall body language, if you will. Investigation like this one, we have some idea of where the case is headed and what might have happened within a few days. In this situation, despite doing everything within our power and exploring all avenues, the one second, sorry, hubby's just getting home. Okay, so circumstances leading to Summer's disappearance remain unclear. So usually by now, and this was what, nine days, 10 days? Usually by now they have some direction that they're usually going. I'm gonna go ahead and rewind it here and play through it. So hold on. In this situation, okay. and what might have happened in an investigation like this. Missing persons case All right, like here this. we go. Typically. Hi everyone coming in. We're gonna go ahead and play through this for a second. There's a couple of spots I'm gonna stop, but uh, I'm just going to go ahead and play through this without interrupting this time round. In an investigation like this one, we have some idea of where the case is headed and what might have happened within a few days. In this situation, despite doing everything within our power and exploring all avenues, the circumstances leading to Summer's disappearance remain unclear. Okay. So this is out of the norm. Just a reminder, they have said it before, but just a reminder that this case is out of the norm, right? And like Remain Calm's notes say, which me and her did not go over her notes or what I'm bringing up, just I gave her a idea of the timeline we're going back to. And as you could hear, she's like pulling up her notes as we go and exactly what she said. What was that again, Remaining Calm? What was I your... Said um, in my opinion, cause I've got it in parentheses, uh, mm -hmm. uh, knows is summer alive. Okay. So, so question mark knows that summer's alive because of the way she, the way she was talking and stuff. That's the first thing that went through my mind. You right. Know, are they feeling at some point that summer is alive? 
Right. And so remember when I started too, I told y'all I was looking for some kind of fresh hope or renewed hope or old hope um, in hoping to get signs and signals or words that would lead me to think that the law believes she's alive still. Okay. Now this again is nine and 10 days into the case only. Um, and yeah, remain calm had exactly what we'll hear in here is summer alive. This press conference is definitely got some signs in here in my opinion, on what the law has been thinking all along. News Channel 11's John Janko is at today's news briefing. John, are investigators hopeful at this point that they will find Summer? Okay, so listen to what's being asked right now, right? Are investigators hopeful that we will find Summer? I want you to pay attention to that. That is a hopeful question, wouldn't you say, Remain Calm? That is. That's a hopeful question. Now pay attention to the next questions. And when this gentleman here starts speaking, I would say they're trying to bring hopeful questions and, and bring hope that it's possible we could find Summer alive, but watch. At this point that they will find Summer? Hopeful, will we find Summer? Sarah and Josh, while search teams and investigators are physically and mentally exhausted, I can tell you that they all remain hopeful. That's a hopeful statement. Are investigators hopeful that we could find Summer? That's a hopeful question. This man said a hopeful statement by saying, I can tell you that reporters and investigators do remain hopeful. What's that sound like to you, Remain Calm? Well, I think we have to remember that, of course, the searchers who are out there giving it 100% to find her are all still very hopeful that they do find her alive. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I could get more in depth about um, the, the possibility of her still being in the area and not lost out in the woods, but that's probably going a little deeper than what you want to go today, so. No, say that again. About going a little deeper? Yeah, well, would you, yeah, would you say? Because, something about in the woods well there's always a possibility that uh she she could still be in the area hmm. but not necessarily be in the woods in the woods right um i get where you're going and we will it this is absolutely going to end up deeper hello everyone coming in hey truly i see you woo nikki two poles selena flower girl um okay i'm going to keep playing because again you heard the question was positive you heard that gentleman's statement would be positive right right at this point the, the search and investigation do you okay i'm gonna just rewind it a minute because i yap too much and i i don't want to interrupt here listen to the question oh jaded thank you thank you so much i really appreciate that jaded and thank you for all you do as well i see you out there in the chats and on people's panels and i see you everywhere as well um, everybody is. So I appreciate that. Okay, here we go. Get your earbuds in. This is as loud as it can go. It's a little bit quiet. I want you to again remember that it's supposed to, it was positive commenting and the questions coming up and just watch Leslie. Investigation. Do you believe Summer Wells is still alive? We hope so, but honestly, we just don't know. I mean, we, we're holding out hope, doing everything we can, obviously. Okay, so everything she just said sounds positive, right? Right. Would you agree that that sounds positive? And um, again, the the words that she said, just the words, nothing else. The words yeah, were positive. Yeah, the words are definitely positive. So I'm going to rewind that again now, you guys. And I, I want you to pay attention again. So everything positive. Do you think we'll find Summer? And that guy says, I'll let you know, investigators and reporters, they do believe, you know, that we will find Summer. And then the question to her, do you believe that we will find Summer alive? And her words sound good. Investigation. Do you believe Summer Wells is still alive? We hope so, but honestly, we just don't know. I mean, we, we're holding out hope. Remain calm. What is she doing right now? She is shaking her head no. Thank you. 
So while the words coming out of her mouth is positive and everything before that was positive about finding Summer, her question was, do you believe we will find Summer alive? Now, I'm going to mute her. We're going to rewind here for a second. In hopeful. Leslie, at this point, the search and investigation. Do you think we'll find Summer alive? So, that's pretty telling right there. That That is very telling, and, and um, that says a lot also. Her nine days. No saying that. Yep, nine days. Now, I want to pull something up quick as well. Um, really quick, okay. Yeah, I agree, JPL. It's been so long. I mean, yeah, it'd be impossible unless she was, you know. But that, we have to remember, too, that's nine or ten days in. Exactly. And so this here, remember, in body language, a lot of times they say, if it is a positive thing being spoken about, but their head is shaking no, it's going to be the their head shaking no that's the real answer like within them but they just can't say that right exactly and so she's saying all these positive words but her head is subconsciously giving the answer no 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 and specifically when they're talking about you know something positive but their head does the no that could indicate that you know, her answer is in her head. You know, her mouth is not the same answer as what's in her head. And so I think that's pretty telling. And so I found that wanting to go back and find p something positive that Summer is alive and that the law thinks Summer is alive. But I now, for the past several days after watching that, am now going back and every conversation i've had with everybody because now i'm i'm looking at it like what if law thinks that she's not alive because then we got pruitt saying they don't believe she left that area or has been trafficked out of that area and then we've got the search teams like uh dave radar and them from um sorry what is the name Equisearch. of that equisearch thank you equisearch saying that they're looking summer for the size of a compact like laptop computer and that and these and the things that they're saying of the sizes of things they're looking for tells you that they're not looking for an alive five-year-old girl or she wouldn't be the size of a compact computer trying to find her so well we have to remember too that and and i stress this I argued with another creator about this. I guess it was the way I said it. Summer allegedly had no shoes on. So we're talking about a little five-year-old right. girl who they felt maybe wandered away from home and was lost in the woods. But how far could she have really gotten before it got dark? Right. And I don't see Summer with no shoes on walking around out in the woods in the pitch dark by herself um possibly hearing her name called and not answering someone no, I, I mean that's right. just my opinion on that okay, we're to the dollar store. okay. can you guys get me a cherry pepsi maybe thank you yeah i um i, I want to um so from back in that in in that time you you must have stuff from that date what was that the 25th of june 2021 so yeah 10 days nine days and nine the law days. is already talking about her not being like that from wesley to me i saw that before but it didn't stand out to me like it does now and now i feel like she's saying no 
Hey, yeah, Frankie. That, that's the way I felt too. And, and you know the, I, and I'm sure we'll get into this at a later time too. Mm -hmm. I don't understand um, why. And, and this is just my opinion. The the parents, you know, and their little I'll call them associates from Beach Creek felt that they needed to um, create all this chaos instead of just being truthful about mm. the situation and uh because i've always felt this way i in my mind cannot fathom candace being a helicopter mom <laughs> and i think that grandma right. and don tried a lot to make candace sound like she was the perfect mother when she wasn't i think if that would have just been played out in an honest way maybe things would have mm. looked a little bit different on on that level also so so do you get the the feelings that a lot of people think don runs stuff some people think grandis runs stuff and i happen to think a lot of times and i don't i've never had a relationship with candace but people don't like i've seen candace get rough and tough with Don, you know what I'm saying? Just like he has with her. But there's a lot of, like, I kind of think that Candace runs more of the show than people care to see or admit to themselves, maybe, because they prefer to think Don is Big Bad Wolf. And that's, I understand people thinking that. I, I do. Um, but well, I, I've witnessed different, I guess I can say. I think many people. Yeah, I, I, I think it's both. Well, um, I think that yeah. that... Uh, the domestic going on there um, really is between both of them. I think they both have so much on each other that um, they put themselves in a position where I don't think they would ever willingly leave each other or really tell right. on each other for things that they've really, you know, done. Whether it has to do with summer or not, uh, they're not going to spill the beans on each other under right. any circumstances. And, you know, that's where we run into a problem because we, like you said, we see, we see Candace and, um, you know, and she's really started to come out of her shell, you know, on a certain creator's panel. We've seen mm -hmm. her, you know, call which I think is good wherever well, she's comfortable. Well, the thing about it is, and that's fine that she's comfortable. And really quick, things. I'm sorry to interrupt. I'm sorry. My daughters are about to head out, but I um, I wanted you to hear something from them and okay. uh, the people in chat. Because a lot of you guys know, so I've been covering the case along with y'all. And right. my, my kids all know that. And they hear me working on stuff. And, you know, they they hear bits and pieces, but they have never invested yeah. their selves into the cases I do, right? That's not their thing, it's mine. Right. Um, well, now lately it has started to, uh, Summerwell's stuff has started to spill over in their TikToks. Right. And so they're seeing stuff. And so now they'll come to me like, oh my God, mom, like I saw this TikTok about Candace Bly and I saw this or that. Like, is this true because if this is true then i feel weird about this and so recently what was it that you saw um it was candace giving a house tour but the house just gave like really weird vibes and like i don't know do you hear that weird. right so like the candace giving chris mcdonough the house tour came to their tiktok was the was the most recent thing and the girls asked me like was that really their house mom or is that just like TikTok fuckery. I said no. That's. I said, was that's there a man really walking around? House. Yeah, and she, and they they said, and did they really have to walk down in a creepy hole to get to Summer's bedroom? Yeah. And I said, yes, that's real. That is not made up for TikTok. It's very real. And yeah. and and what did you guys think about when you saw that? that? I haven't seen it. Okay, so Courtney, what did you think when you saw it? Cassidy hasn't seen it herself yet, but no, Courtney did. I just did. heard. What? That's weird. Yeah. I just felt like something was off, and I didn't, like, realize it was that, like, weird. You didn't realize it was that weird. Yeah. And you said something about their bedroom. You called it something. I don't remember. Dungeon. 
that's what I've always called it too, the dungeon. So, but you didn't, so you get bad vibes from what you saw yeah. of that uh, walk around she did at the house with, with Chris McDonough. Yeah. Okay. Well, show your sister while you're walking and yeah. then we'll get her reaction when you get back. So, yeah, so that I thought that was interesting. And my girls, like I said, yeah, they know I work on it, but they've always really kind of, they, they, you know, keep to themselves well, really. But when they saw that, that shook Courtney for sure. Yeah. Um, even when I, um, now my oldest daughter, I don't really discuss it with her because she uh, gets mm -hmm. really panicky about stuff like that. Yeah. Um, but when I first talked to my stepmother about it and, and I kind of just barely went into it, she said, wait a minute, are you talking about a movie? And I was mm -hmm. like, no. This is real life. And that's movie, movie, always stuck in my head. I just feel like Candace started the script and Don took control of it. And when Don took control of that script, um, mm. I just feel that way. I, I just feel like Don being the man, I guess, and thought that he was going to speak up and be the one to tell everything. I don't think I wish he wouldn't have done that and he would have made Candace stand up and speak on her own I mm. think it would have made a total difference in what we're even seeing now in this case for sure yeah I agree but you and I both I mean you know we don't agree on everything because and I told you this I just feel Don was at home sometime that day I can't right. say exactly what time, but it, right. In my, in and I heart, don't think you're wrong. I can yeah. say that now. I don't I, think you're wrong. I think I've said that all along, but you know, I was a little more uh, kiss butt at first, but then I was like, you know what? I'm not going to kiss their butt. I'm going to let them know how I feel because if they're innocent, me kissing their butt's not going to be helpful to them either. They need to know that something looks suspicious. Because if I think it looks suspicious or I think it sounds like a lie, tons of other people are also going to think the same. And yeah. so I just said to hell with it. I'm just going to be totally blunt with Don and Candace. And I know they like people and prefer people that pucker up. But that's just not me. And again, when people come at me and throw you throw them under the bus, da da da. No, I I tell them when I'm proud of them, and I tell them when shit doesn't look right. And that's how exactly. I've always been. And I do think that's why Don continues talking to me yeah, is absolutely. because I'm so honest about it. Yeah, huh. I, I definitely agree with that because I I watched since you know the beginning when you start talking to Don and things that you were releasing and things like that and it didn't mm -hmm. matter how much didn't matter what i said or did how, he was how, how pissed he got at you oh and, yeah and no matter he would pick up the phone and call you it didn't matter if it was a week later or what but yep. he was picking the phone back up and calling you for sure so yeah so what's the point like and that's where i get frustrated with where creators are like what it whatever share you're just jealous he's on my panel no i'm not because to be honest I've kept him off my panel. He would have been on my, my channel a whole lot more in the past several months if I wanted to, but I've said no. Yeah. yeah and I, agree with that. I, I again, you don't have to kiss her butt and we don't have to come on here and sell false narratives and continue that bullshit. We don't have to do that on our channels. We don't have to do that for them, to them, because they're their own worst enemy. We have to try and cut through the bullshit somehow. You're you right. know, they, they are their own. Worst so enemy. they, they are their own worst enemy. enemy. They don't need nobody to help them with that. And, so and one thing I've just said, be blunt with them and, from and, yeah, whether they're of, mad or not. Kind of been filling me out on my channel and it doesn't matter what I say. I stand oh. by. I cannot say if these parents are innocent or guilty. I cannot say that. Right. I, I can just say how I feel. Yeah, exactly exactly and so I'm not, look i'm not a shout doctor. out justin aka justin for all he's listening and oh my gosh he got stung by a hornet y'all and uh, his, he sent me a picture and a tomato does not i can actually legit see exactly where the hornet got him oh my word feel better hon thank you for uh, listening feel better um ice that thing would you 
and then get yourself like i don't know some tea with some sugar just you know for you because it tastes That'll good and take, take your mind off grill too. oh my god benadryl yes my son actually has is allergic he has to keep an epi pen with him at all times because he will go uh, his throat closes up. It's super fucking scary. And so, oh, yeah. And, of course, he loves to hunt and stuff. So, oh, my goodness. Yeah, that's not good. You got to be really careful. But, I mean, we can uh, definitely... I would love, and I say this all the time, and I hope people understand what I'm saying. It, it, I love to have other people's opinions Mm -hmm. And even their theories, because even if we don't agree, it keeps the conversation open for summer. Not mm -hmm. we don't, even though we do have to talk about Don and Candace, and some of us don't like that that is summer's parents, but those are summer's parents, right. And we cannot help who we've been born to now i'm going back here guys because there's a lot of stuff i want to show you and um i'm so you'll have to bear me with me as i go back but uh yes that's so, all right and everybody needs to figure out that but this yeah is I, this we is don't have to kiss their butt we don't have to let them on specifically to attack people we don't have to do right. any of that we as creators have choices too and yes we want people to listen to us we want to get views of course we do we want all of that or we wouldn't have a channel but we also do have to have if we want to be taken seriously we have to have some moral boundaries right. so and i've been learning more and more um what is for me and if it's going to well, be different for everybody but and and like i say you're you're the very first uh channel that i've even been on a panel to even talk about this so you guys have to bear with me this time because i'm just a little oh bit they nervous. will you're I'll you've got a good channel you you've got a good open mindset you don't kiss nobody's but you say it how you mean it that's what Thank i love you. about you that's what drew me to you Thank and you, you you do not need to and i always told you privately we do not have to agree i exactly. love that i love that we can have civil conversations we can bounce things and sometimes maybe i leave a conversation thinking a little bit more if i don't uh change my mind and think she's at least i've left the conversation definitely looking into things more because you you left me going huh i right. can understand why you think that so let me look a little more into this so yeah and i can appreciate that i think that's what it's all supposed to be about anyway thank you very much he took Benadryl. It's swelling now. Took Benadryl. All of that hurts like a motherfucker. Oh my gosh. I bet. Okay. Just relax. Keep your legs up. Make your hubby wait on you. <laughs> Make the kiddos after school, you know, bring you some sweet tea or something. And just take it easy. Just take it easy. I got to go to work in a couple hours. So I was hoping you would do a live so that I can, you know get through my my work evening a little bit quicker when i listen to what's yeah, all going I, I on was gonna, yeah i figured i would uh i didn't schedule it but i figured i would do one here in a little bit okay awesome so what do you think about <laughs> so <sighs> i still would like to believe that summer is alive i have to think that because i i, I have to have that hope to keep going we are over two years now i think we all have to have that belief even though i think we're all well aware what all bad things could be and might be exactly. I, I think it's fair that we all keep hope that she could be so i want people to know that i do have a show i'm planning and i'm going to be showing you guys some stuff and it has given given me fresh hope that she is still alive and possibly in some weird adoption sting and the situation i'm going to bring before you guys would also because i have to, i have trouble understanding why do we have a tim mullen why do we have a robin lane yes they go to church they love their church i get that praise the lord hallelujah 
but why do we have what seems to be a whole lot more than just some church folk doing yeah i, I support. get exactly do you, what you're saying i think do, I know, yeah i i think i know exactly it uh, where sure you're seems like they that. have their hand a little too deep in the pot if you know what i mean exactly exactly and one thing that i always say samantha is, i don't attack the will the wells i tell the wells what doesn't look good i call the wells out on their bullshit and i always have that's not yeah, gonna and, change and it's i've new. never lip box is 100 attacking the wells either the only thing that i yeah. do is if i don't like something that Don or Candace says, I voice my opinion on it. And that's what my channel's for, opinions mm -hmm. and theories with no repercussions. So, um, mm -hmm. you know, however, however that works out for people, it works out for people, you know. I think everybody, um, I'm just really big on, no matter what you say, if, if it's your opinion, please state that it's your opinion. That way people don't take and look at things as misinformation that may be, you know, being put in a chat or something. Um, because that happens so often mm -hmm. that people aren't saying this is my opinion and other people are looking at it as fact and they're repeating it down through the line on different channels, on different chats. Mm -hmm. And that just brings in a lot more misinformation on Summer's case and it makes it harder for people to understand when you're actually trying to speak something that may be truth. Does yeah. That make sense? Yeah, it's like a big game of telephone that happens. Exactly. And, and it's okay you say your opinion, but yeah, it is good to just say this is my opinion rather than mm -hmm. just throw it in the chat because yeah, yeah then someone will say difference. Yeah. And unfortunately, that's because a lot of people come in and they pretend they're this, they pretend they're that, and then they just throw out things and then some people believe it. So they go say something to someone and most of the time they only get half of what was really said even then, you know, and it just starts a bunch of nasty and nastiness and well, we've I got think what a hell of, hell of a lot of that already. I think what, anyway. what a lot of people need to realize, it doesn't matter if you're pro Don and Candace or you're not pro Don and Candace. That, it doesn't matter. That should not even be the cusp of the conversation about summer. It, it's, that doesn't matter to me. I don't care who, who is for Don and Candace or who's not for Don and Candace. That doesn't make me any difference on my channel. I don't pay no attention to that. Um, that's just the way I have always been, you know, so. I don't disregard if somebody comes into my chat and they say, you know, well, I don't like them or whatever. I'm like, that's okay by me. Sorry, just don't. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, good. I'm okay, just good. like, don't disrespect anybody. Do you else want me to? Chat. I'm actually, I'm finding some stuff I'm going to pull up, you guys, but I will share the link. Are you okay with that? Yeah, go ahead. As long as people are respectful on panel and you're not rude to my guest because she is my special guest today um and like she said she's open to different opinions so you just be respectful about it okay so i gotta get out of there no cancel okay we'll open the chat if people have anything they'd like so what i've decided to do and remain calm and i are gonna do this together or have been doing this together but we are going uh, back to just prior, well, we should all go back to the very beginning if we're being honest, but we kind of do have to break it up into sections. So for me, because I'm crazy and a little bit backwards, we're going to go a little bit backwards. And I would like to start bringing things back to, uh, prior to Don's arrest when he got arrested for drinking and driving. I'm gonna say three or three months prior to that around you guys remember when he started having a phone relationship with my father and before he yeah. went into jail and he was very like i gotta talk to your dad only your dad will understand your dad nobody else blah 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 blah, blah. Yeah, he did and he did. i thought that was really weird too so there was a lot of stuff 
that I have not shown you guys in conversations. There's a lot of stuff that happened kind of in the background of a lot of lives and afterlives and a lot of stuff in between. Some stuff been sent off and a lot of stuff I didn't put out. Everyone thinks I have put everything up between me and Don all on my channel and the uh, fact is is i, I haven't knew, i knew that yeah there's yeah there's no way possible that i've done that because literally it was 24 7 and then again recently it started again being you know not I necessarily 24 gave, 7 but almost <laughs> i always gave you kudos for that yes i'm like i bet she is drove crazy half the time with yeah conversations. yeah and so i um also things that you know turned into law and if you turn something into law you shouldn't go and put it on your your channel right so there's some exactly. things that i have put on my channel that yes went to law but the law had their time with it the law had let me know like they looked at it nothing come of it so i knew it was okay to share on my channel exactly. however there is other stuff that um took longer to be cleared off as you know we looked into this or whatever and don't forget that there's a few of us Benny, me, Cam, and Allie, and that, that were told something that was useful that did end up getting them followed for a few days. Right. So, you know, there's just a lot. So, yeah, absolutely. Even now, you guys don't have even a crumb of what Don and I actually speak, you know. So, I definitely don't put everything on my channel. But I'm going to start putting stuff up. And, yes, some of it's really old, but... The case is still ongoing and bye rapper i love when people unsub me and thank you for announcing it for the extra attention you needed who you were probably not even subbed but anyways whatever <laughs> goodbye i bye. think they trolled i think Go, they trolled my yeah. channel the other day too <laughs> So, yeah, so I want to go back. So for a time frame, I think it's got to go back to, what do you think? Yeah, three three or four months before his uh, last arrest is a good time, a good time frame to go back to and really deep dive and go back to just everything. As well as some people need to and should, uh, lip locked, um, we got to start all the way at the beginning. And if people want me to come on their channel and answer things to the best of my knowledge now, I will. And if they want me to go forth and if they got questions of this or that and they want me to uh, dig through my all my messages, don't forget me and Don talk on multiple different phone numbers on multiple different platforms. So, I mean, like our conversations are fucking everywhere. And I think that's what the purpose to keep it scattered. You know what I'm saying? Well, also, you know, once once I get the hang of exactly where we're going with it and everything, I'm mm -hmm. going to have a lot of questions. Okay, good. Yes. And when, when, yeah, and then I'll end up just like whipping up my phone live and just pulling up. So everybody, I'll make sure that everybody will get the quote unquote exclusive bits or whatever and see it with your own eyes and have it. I don't want right. to keep anything for myself and I never have in this case. I never have. I well, brought no, Don on I, the scene with five other people. So I, uh, that was the whole thing though. I always respected the fact that I, I knew, um, you know, just in my own mind that there were things that, um, you weren't releasing because mm -hmm. you, I knew that I caught on really quick to you and Don's relationship that, that you were like, if I have something I feel needs to go to law enforcement, I'm going to call mm -hmm. law enforcement. And, yeah. Uh, you know, so I knew that right away. So I knew there were things that you had uh, mm -hmm. that you were having to keep a little bit close to the vest, mm -hmm. you know, and, and until, you know, whenever. And whenever. Leandra, you're right. Everything shouldn't be on YouTube. It does bring trouble for open cases. Right. It does. And I agree with that. There is some stuff to like yeah i can't i'm not gonna give everything i don't think creators should give everything unless law says it's okay but there is a lot more other stuff like to go with stuff that i do feel comfortable sharing and it might be nothing it might be something or maybe it could be a puzzle piece that someone has over here you just never know i think everyone should share that i think it's a really good time for everyone to come together and see what we could do anyways um did you yeah. do you have that playing do you that uh robin memo i sent you isn't that 
just creepy. I remember that. I, remember I forgot that she that had. Came out. Mm -hmm. I sent that to you, right? Yeah. Yeah, you sent it to me on uh, Messenger. And we also need to go back. I know people didn't like questions that I asked on, but we do need to go back and remember and listen to what's said. Remember uh, back around that time before he was going to go to jail too, I think three or four months, and I said, don't ever tell YouTube what Summer really went missing in. Do you remember oh, his yes, reaction? Yes. I remember that. What was oh, his reaction? No, I forget. Balza, ba, Balza Matang, welcome to the crazy train. Thank you so much for becoming a member. I appreciate that. Choo choo. Welcome to the crazy train. And Jaded, thank you for that. And Penelope, keeping hope alive. That, exactly. Beautiful, by the way, uh, picture. And thank you so, so much for that. I appreciate that. Um, because this is why I questioned that, okay? <laughs> I'm not going to get yeah. into it when you no. talk, but um, <laughs> what was funny was the reason I questioned that is because... Oh, I blocked you. <laughs> yeah, you blocked me when I asked you that, but um, but that was two years ago, honey. We're good now. Okay, but, so, okay, you know, repeat it. What was... Okay, repeat what you... Asked, why did... Okay, I blocked you. You asked what again? Sorry. Let I, me. Because I asked you um, yeah. what... Because I remember the conversation of, of that... It was it was something like you and Don were having a conversation, and it was something about what don't let them know what Summer went missing in mm -hmm. something like that. That's mm -hmm. not word for word, uh, but I the reason I asked was because I was like Candace said that she put Summer in her bathing suit uh, mm -hmm. that morning when they left, but yet H said that Candace put her in the bathing suit at his house. But he also described the shorts and tank tops she had on. So in my mind, I thought, right. oh, what if Candace actually took Summer out of the shorts and the tank top and just left her bathing suit on when leaving H's? Mm -hmm. that, that was in my mind right there. So do you want to hear my take on that whole situation? Yeah. I'm saying the broke it. Yeah, I did at that time. So my take is there was never a swimsuit that day. She was in tank tops and a shorts. That's but, my opinion. My opinion uh, from my knowledge and what I feel today, 27 months later, almost 27 months later, and all of my questioning of everybody I've talked to, I have walked away saying she was not wearing a swimsuit that day. There was no swimsuit brought. And we can get into that much deeper if you want to at a different time or right now if you want. But my take, I do not believe there was a swimsuit that day that Summer Moon Utah okay. Wells was wearing. Okay. So or then, ever changed into. Okay, let me, let me say this then. I, on one of my lives, I showed Unmask doing an interview with David Dodson. So this is really weird to me because he says he was standing with law enforcement on uh, the day Summer went missing. And, Hi, she, and she showed law enforcement a video of all the kids swimming that day. Not just Summer, the boys. Yes, Birdie. I do believe that video is from a different day. Yes, I do. So... My, my Say that pick, again. Dave, I showed, I have a mm -hmm. live where Unmasked did uh, a interview with David Dotson. David Dotson said <laughs> on the 15th, he was standing with Candace when she showed law enforcement a video of all the kids swimming that day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. on the 15th mm -hmm. and well listen i also think so lip lock i know we always disagree and that's okay that's totally okay i know that they have put a swimsuit out that they want us to believe there was and they've showed it i do believe yes there's a swimsuit that they have shown i just do not believe that swimsuit was worn on summer that day that's my opinion but I know everyone sees a swimsuit and there's been a swimsuit shown and all of this and the videos and pictures. I know and I know you've done your amazing research and you do great work. I'm just saying my belief that day she wasn't wearing it. That's all. And and it's okay if you don't agree with me. I still love you. <laughs> um, and I'm I sure that wonder, maybe 
another day there will be a different uh, something you do agree with me on. So just know that I adore you, okay? And that I, I totally am okay with people not agreeing with me. Well, you know more than we do, too, to a certain extent. I mean, you... To a you certain didn't... extent, but I also wouldn't say that I know more. I just get right. the uh, loveliness of talking more to them, but they talk to everybody, and they'll talk to more people uh, even after, and that's okay. It, it's... I just feel more... I think... I feel more confident in what I think and what I believe because of... Uh, Yes, because of, I guess, because how close I've gotten. Yeah. yeah, if that's fair to say. Well, I think also that, you know, I it always interested me the first time that I heard Don say something was going to happen. He always felt something was going to happen to Summer mm -hmm. under on Candace's watch. Mm -hmm. The first time he said that, um, it, it was like a red flag to me. And... I'll never forget it. And he said it more than one time. And the way that he kept saying it, and this is just, yeah. this is the way I think, okay, you guys, you Hi, can Wendy. say I'm weird or whatever. Hi, Chloe, but um, I said, in, in my mind, I went, what, what have you done to make sure something happened to Summer on Candace's watch? That was just a question that went through my head every time he would say that. Because he could never pinpoint why he felt that way. And also, what, what kind of stood out to me was, if you believe that, why did you not take Summer with you when you went to Utah? Right. That, that was just my question. Right. So. I Yeah. Um, Wandering Hearts, if you're listening, I'm about to text you. I mean, for sure. So that's something that always went through my mind, you know. Um, there were a lot of things that he has said over time and, um, you know, that, that I find rather disturbing. I know that Don can be a very crass individual. Um, he, he just says whatever his mind, wherever his mind goes, um, he says it. But I, I hope that he does realize that... Um, and this is just my opinion, opinion, you guys, okay? Um, that he has made himself uh, look, he's, he's just not made himself look good where Summer's concerned with, <sighs> with his list of things that possibly in his mind could have been happening or whatever. And... You know, it, it just seems to me like he exceptualizes everything. You know what I mean? Yes, you can say it on here. Yeah. So definitely. I'm going to show you guys this, but I got a text from Don. Was it yesterday? Did I show? Did I tell you that yesterday or the day before yesterday? I, I, hold on. I agree, Hammer Time. He needs to stop using the God card for sure. Oh. Um, What's it say? I'm what? Oh, Tim is not Tim at all. He's better. I don't know about that, but I don't trust him. Sorry, never have. That's <laughs> not me saying that. That's Don to me. I said, are you okay? Don is the next response. Well, let me tell you, because... I don't understand what Tim was saying to Don that made him his best friend in a couple months. It, it's like that to me, that's just not weird. Yeah. But yeah. Now, what do you suppose Don meant in August 28th, 2021 when Don says to me, I think this might be about his sister. I don't know if I can Hold see on. it. I can't see it. Give it a minute. Uh, you may have to read it. Okay, you know what I'll do? I'll post it, it on... I will post it on Community Post and then pull it up. Let me do that right now. Yeah, because in my mind, 
who who um who becomes such a best friend with somebody? Did you see that? Lip lock, you said, whoa, did you see that? Yeah, Don's saying he thinks that he's a federal agent. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't know about that, yeah, dude. I don't know. I mean, I mean, this is my personal feeling about Tim Mullins. If, if he's a federal agent, maybe they need to start handing out some other applications to people. Um, the guy tries to use big, sophisticated words. He tries to be philosophical. And uh, it doesn't work out very well in my book. I think he just likes to play on words is what he does. And uh, maybe he should just stay with videotape and, uh, you know, historical sites. Because he's playing a game too, Cher. If you yeah. remember right, when Reverend Donna did her reading and she was talking about a baseball field and stuff, Right after that, Tim Mullins does one of his videos, and he's walking through a baseball field and everything else. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, that guy is just like, it, it, I don't know. He's off the wall. But, yeah. They they should send me an application for it to be a federal agent if he's one, because I would probably be a good one. I was trying to... <laughs> uh... Okay, let's listen. Let's listen to this. Hold on. That driveway, her kids were three and four. They said, Mommy's there, Mommy's there. Uh, Why didn't they ever? Where went? would that be? Uh, like, where was that at? Wisconsin or whatever. In Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Yeah, That's probably wherever. Yeah, great. So, Wisconsin. Okay, so Wisconsin. So, it's JLR interview with Allison Harris, mother of Hunter. Okay, yeah. there is something in here. Kansas got really drunk one night and said, my sister was supposed to meet someone at a bar, her friends. And yep. Okay, I think Molly yeah. Golightly just said Candace got really drunk one night and said that <clears throat> her she was supposed to go meet her sister, or I don't know. Hold okay, on. No, I, that, that yeah. Who, who would have been responsible? Kansas got really drunk one night and said, my sister was supposed to meet someone at a bar her friends and yep. never made it that's what she said that's yeah. she who, who would have been responsible for uh, her sister's death the mom mm -hmm. or candace both probably or candace anyway because i know candace so they said okay so they think that both Candace and her mom could be culpable, which I think is interesting because who was around Rose when Rose went missing her grandis maybe Candace uh maybe don we don't know but for sure right it's candace's sister and candace's daughter it just again there's just no escaping that that is weird yeah definitely i mean having two missing people in the same family um it it is way off weird it definitely is um and i and because of those statements i believe that um, they did investigate the the place, you know, driveway or wherever it was. I and, used to live right not, there. <laughs> and did not find anything there. Um, and, you know, the whole situation. Hmm. And, and I never really followed Rose's case too much because there were other creators who were definitely right. into that, you know. And, yeah. And uh, so I just kind of stayed with, with Summer. But... Um, They've really never come out. They, There was something, you can't deny, there was something in these two cases that made them go back and question some things in Rose's case. Oh, though. for sure. Yeah. Yeah, because I think, they, I think they did say that they were taking, I remember, yeah, they did say something. They are taking more tips and stuff now, but yeah, I'm, I'm interested. I can make some calls because actually, yeah, I used to live right around there. Uh, the area where Rose went missing from is actually a well-known, like we used to call it parking lot pimping, but like people would go bring their cars to their park and party. And I mean, it's like, I could have people go there and, you know, get us some videos and some, and some stuff, but uh, yeah eventually when i go pick up my sons from minnesota i wouldn't mind going that route as well and i can i can uh see what i can talk to a few people for us and, and everything and 
maybe you can throw me up on your channel while I do that or something. We'll, we'll get that all figured out. But yeah, I think it'd be interesting if we can start getting more traction on Rose again with Summer because um, you'd have to, you'd have to, now, I'm not will, convinced I, they're well, not connected. <laughs> I will, I will tell you the person, my go-to person for information about Rose. And I, a lot of people ain't crazy about her. But uh, Lisa Ritz. Lisa um, Ritz. Yeah, Lisa. They call it, no offense, Lisa, but they call her Lisa Cray Cray. Um, but her name is. Is Lisa. she got a YouTube channel? Yeah, she does. She just, I don't know how long she's had it, but she knows uh, Rose's ex husband. Uh, she also knows Candace's sister, mm. Jeannie, if I'm not mistaken. Now, the only thing I will tell you, the only Hi, thing. Amy. With, with Lisa, and I'm trying to get her to, um, you know, say if something's her opinion or speculation or something, um, because she doesn't tend to do that, and people mm -hmm. literally attack her over it. You know, but, well, you know what? I think for the most part, if people are going to be on here and listening to people, I think that that should just be in our mind anyways, that that's all it is. It's our, it's people's thoughts and opinions. Exactly. If they don't happen to say that before talking, don't jump on their back. Like, just assume that at this point, because that's all you can do. Nobody is given anything more than one, than one another. That's all any of us have is our thoughts, our opinions. So it's not, that's, that is okay. So just because, you know, they maybe they're not oh well it's my thought and opinion every five seconds they open their mouth oh well or they type oh well just always um, assume it is and leave people the hell alone i agree the ultimate chris because that's what made the church and everything seem so weird because you know allegedly david dodson had only just started going there and uh -huh. I, this is what i always questioned if that was the case why would candace Okay, why would Candace know to call David to get a hold of Robin? How would she, why would Candace know that? Candace had to have known something uh, because this is just the way I think. If, if you go to a church and you're a newer member who's going there, your name, your name and phone number is not necessarily going to be in the church registry. It's, it's not going to really be there. So somewhere along the line, Candace had to have known that when she couldn't get a hold of Robin, who did she call? David. And David tries to say that he really didn't know the family, had only seen Summer in church a few times. But yet David was at the hill before Robin had been up on the hill uh, uh. praying with the family and then when Robin arrived he went down the hill they wouldn't let him and Robin go up right away because they were taking the dogs up but David uh, even Robin said was up on that hill before she arrived there and another no, because I thought that Robin and and didn't Robin and David arrive together no Okay, I have to go back and listen to my stuff uh, because I could swear. Hold on. Let me. Uh, hold allegedly, on. allegedly, and I, I'll say allegedly, um, David was called. David called Robin. Robin was leaving um, the photo session she was doing with her daughter at the mm -hmm. recital. Mm -hmm. So, so Rob, David called her. Now, Robin went home. And what didn't show up for like two hours. And I'd have to look at my time thing here. Um, because I got a whole chapter on Robin Lane. And what transpired with her and David that night. And um, so when. Uh, so David called Robin when she was in the car. Candace called through then. So David had. Uh, I don't know if he was already at the hill. Or um, he was on his way out to the hill. He said he didn't know where Don and Candace <clears> lived. <throat> and that he put a GPS or drove out there or something. Robin said she went home. It took her two hours to get out to 110 Ben Hill. Two hours after she was told Summer went missing. Which I always found odd. 
but she that was like, weird. oh, I had to go home and get some snacks and some and a flashlight because I knew it was going to be a long night. Now, I don't know if I can see that either. Is that from her? Mm-hmm. Take a break for a while. I'm going to. Oh, she, she went, went to okay. Hawaii. She That's went on Hawaii right. right after Summer's disappearance. Yes, she did. She sure did. And see, I thought that was really odd that 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 Candace would know to call David, and then David calls her. It still takes her two hours to get there. Now, tell me if you don't find this odd. Do, don't you think it's weird that... Okay, I will, guys. Hold on. Everybody that Candace called to tell them that Summer was missing, it was like they thought she was playing Colin Wolf, right? They thought she was playing Wolf. Yeah. Or, or Crying Wolf, I guess they call it. Where crying Wolf. It? I don't know if I can see that, Cher. Okay, I will have to screenshot and because I don't know how to do the camera. Okay, so thank you for your prayers. I've been. Hold on. Oh, gosh. Oh, is that where. She... Okay, is... that's not the one where she's talking about the touchy feely preacher, right? Oh, I have that on recording. You guys, I will get this in community posts for members because, sorry and, and i'll tell you and i hate to jump ahead so if i am just tell here me stop. no but no here i can play that really quick if you want me to yeah play that okay. really quick okay hey share okay so i have this is my first time doing this little audio text <laughs> this is so cool anyways um i got your message you have a lovely voice if I've told you that probably not you have an absolutely lovely voice like I can see why you do interviews and audio like whatever it is you call it your voice is just smooth as butter I just love to listen to you talk anyways um thank you for talking to me I just got home last night from the beach at 11 30 p.m and then I had to go to work today and I was trying really hard at the beach to not be consumed by all of this stuff because I really needed a break from all of it and I feel like I'm back I'm ready to you know start talking again if I need to I'm I'm really feeling high hopes that Summer is going to be found today. I have a very high hope for that. So hopefully it won't even be necessary to do an interview because she'll be found by the end of today. I actually am really seriously believing this could happen. <laughs> Praying for it anyways. So we'll see. Anyways. Um, okay, so they can't be longer than a minute. <laughs> anyways, I would love to talk to you. I don't know that I'm ready yet. Um, like I said, I just got home and I'm working and I need some time to get my mind back in order. So I will... I will call you, uh, I want to talk to my pastor too, because I really feel like he is better at this stuff than I am. So um, I'm more of a, like to talk from my heart and he's more of an actual objective, you know, he's, he's also a very big touchy feely guy too, but he also has just more knowledge about what we believe and all that fun stuff. I'd almost um, prefer if I did do something for him to be with me, just because I'm probably going to get stumped and be like, okay, so big touchy feely pastor why did i have to hear that but also why do you need someone with you notice that there's always someone with the church with don and candace all the time someone with the church and then even exactly. candace needs someone from the or not candace robin needs someone from the church she can't talk because she might not say something right and maybe i don't really necessarily know why i believe this but my pastor will tell us why I believe that. that That's cultish off. as hell. I'm going to rewind that. Like I have no, really like he is Let me rewind that one. To you. I don't know that I'm ready yet. Um, like I said, I just got home and I'm working and I need some time to get my mind back in order. So I will, I will call you. Uh, I want to talk to my pastor too because I really feel like he is better at this stuff than I am. So... Um, I'm more of a, like to talk from my heart and he's more of an actual objective, you know, he's, he's also a very big touchy feely guy too, but he also has just more knowledge about mm. what we believe and all that fun stuff. I'd almost um, prefer if I did do something for him to be with me just because I'm probably going to get stumped and be like, I have no idea why I believe that, but <laughs> it's in the Bible somewhere and he can help because he knows scripture left and right up and down. Anyways, mm. I love you. I think you're awesome. And I'll call you later if you don't call me first. All right. <laughs> talk to yeah 
Well, like Superior Girl, um, go back and look at Robin talking to Chris McDonough. You know what? And he held on to that interview for like a year before he put it out. And I am I have a theory. I think he held that interview so long because I think that that was turned into the TBI for sure. For sure that was turned in and that's why he didn't share it until he knew that they had ample time with it. And if it was something, they had time with it. Okay. And now he could put it on. Because you can tell, and I've called Robin actually, out for being a liar. She's a liar. She I lies. Actually, um, I actually have that transcribed. Ooh. Um, the interview that she did with okay. Chris McDonough. Tell us. And um, let me see where I want to start. Okay. Repeatedly calling over and over on FaceTime, talking about Candace. She still couldn't get Robin to answer. Being at her daughter's recital dance recital, Robin was busy taking pictures of the girls when she noticed that Candace had called numerous times. Mm -hmm. Not thinking it to be important, she continued with what she was doing. Between 6.30 and 7, she began cleaning up her camera equipment when she noticed she was getting a call from her friend from church named David Dodson. Not getting Robin to answer fast enough, Candace had called David advising him of the situation, asking him to contact Robin. When hmm. he told her Summer was missing, she didn't realize how huge the statement was. When Candace finally got through to her on FaceTime, Can uh, Candace was right. hysterical and Robin was trying to drive and her little girl was in the back seat. I won't go any further, but mm -hmm. as, as Robin was talking, um, to David, Candace called back in again. She hung right. up with David and took Candace's call. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So hmm. that's my writing. I, what I'm what time I was that? What time? Um, she said uh, it was around 6.37-ish, between 6.30 and 7.00. So and that was after the, calling 911. Do we no, believe that yeah, she called 911 before that ele yeah, the church that folk? Yeah, allegedly she had called 911 between 623. There was 623 and 626 911 call. So, yeah, hmm. she's saying Candace was calling her between 630 and 7. Now, this is what got me because she didn't arrive on the hill until around nine o'clock that was like two two and a half later because mm -hmm, she said like she had to go bring her daughter home make her dinner pack a bag and pack Snack. some snacks and yeah she had to make sure her daughter was in bed first and then yeah she got on the road and, and also, i thought she said she went and, that she went and got david she said david. david had already been up to the you house want to come up and here and see carl the family is exactly what she said. David had already been up to the house and seen the family. He hasn't put the whole interview out yet? Maybe not. Just part of it? Interesting. Tim is not the level of intelligence it takes to be an FBI agent. I don't know, unless he's smart enough to act stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, I did have a conversation with Scott Rouse from the behavioral panel about Tim Mullen. And I, I, that's when I actually got upset and I stopped trusting in the behavioral panel because Scott Rouse basically like has Tim Mullen's back. And that creeped me out. Carl, what do you feel about thinking? And I'll, here, I'll show you guys. I won't just say, I'll show you. And I just remember thinking, like, I don't like that. Like, they should think that he is weird, right? And see, it was, it was when Carl mentioned the pizza, um, they tried to make it out like it was after Summer went missing. But allegedly, uh, Robin would pay for these pizzas and then David Dotson would take them up to the, to the hill. 
So mm -hmm. I don't know if that was allegedly for the boys or if the boys were even had been taken at that point. But I could never grasp. I, I just still cannot. There's just something within that uh, triangle of David, Robin, and Tim that I just hadn't. I, I just, there's something missing. I just can't pinpoint it. But, I mean, Don, okay, you guys, and I'm going to say this. We all know it. Don's a criminal. Do you guys not think if Tim Mullins was part. some kind of law enforcement that Don wouldn't, he wouldn't feel the vibe of that? Mm -hmm. I mean, really? You see what I'm saying, Cher? I mean, I would, yeah, but. I don't know anymore what to think about this case. Yeah, I said that uh, just, too. So that, frustrating. Um, yeah, uh, I get. I don't even like to listen to anything Tim Mullen says because it's like you know you should you should reread re reread proofread what you're writing because you okay. don't even know what you're saying. Okay, I'm gonna. Did David have two loads of pizza that day? Now, uh, Carl, I'm telling you that those pizza always interested me. That topic did for some reason. Yeah, the yeah crimes have consequences. That touchy feely about the pastor, it's uh, that, weird. That hit all of us really strange when she made that comment. Yeah, it's because definitely how weird. can you be going to a church for as long as you have and you're supposed to be like a main member and you don't even know what you even believe from the mm. church? How can yeah, you that gave me very problem? much cultish vibes. vibes. Yeah, definitely. Because that's weird. Like, well, what, how do you not believe in what you believe in but you are a member so you're paying to be in that church but you don't know why you believe what you believe without the big touchy feely pastor telling you and, so and look, yes no, i'm gonna pull them up right now Ren, rena but yes i did put them in the community post but i am gonna delete them off after this because i don't like to let me tell you guys something about. it's very obvious up. very very obvious that dawn would prefer a woman like robin lane yeah, uh, you know, no doubt about it. He speaks about it in a way that you know. Well, he no says she's beautiful. She's educated. She's smart, and and like he's he's not shy about it at all. He is attracted no. to Robin. I mean, very much so. And you know, Robin is the one who prayed with him to get him to come back home when he mm -hmm. left at, at mm -hmm. a certain point. I always said I would have loved to have been a fly on the wall to hear that conversation because I can guarantee you I don't think it was all praying, if you know what I mean, but that's just my opinion. <laughs> oh, it's not showing the whole thing, but I asked him about Tim Mullen. Okay, so, uh, well, let me just pull it up here. So I asked him. Uh, good afternoon, Mr. Rose. Will you ever speak about what you and Greg felt about the presence of Tim Mullen? Did he seem like a puppet master at all to you guys? And I asked him that because uh, for those that don't know, Tim Mullen is the one who brought the Wells to uh, California to do the Dr. Phil show exactly. and do their interview. Now, here's uh, some fun fact behind the scenes that I will tell you and that Benny can also uh, co co uh, say and perhaps Carl can even say yeah he's seen proof of this maybe I don't know but there is proof but let me tell you um, Tim tried his darnness to keep him from talking at that time he was talking to Benny Tim liked Benny at that time but at the same time from uh, what ben, or not Benny what is so hard uh, Don would tell me like I don't think Tim fully ever trusted Benny so he was kind of trying to slowly trying to get the wells away from Benny and myself and but that didn't really work that well but anyways 
Uh, everybody knows that they scored drugs while they were in California doing whatever exactly. they were doing. And so... Um, Can we get ripped off? <laughs> yeah, but they, they were getting their drug fixes and everything. So ask yourself, how does that happen when they had a handler literally bring them there and was with them, exactly. quite honestly, babysitting. So that means Tim Mullen knew. Yep. They were getting their drugs. Tim yep. Mullen must have been helping get them their drugs. Why? I don't know. But that's just true. So anyways, I said, you know, how do you feel about Tim Mullen? Did he seem like a puppet master? And Scott Rouse then said, um, he was nice. I think he took really good care of them in L.A. and was really professional about it. And I said, well, that's good to hear. Hmm, would you say he was, would you say we are being too harsh on him then? I really don't want to do harm on any case. And I told him that he is my favorite of the four. I said, and I, I appreciate the response. Also understand if you can't exactly answer. That's what I was kind of hoping is like, well, maybe they're working with the law so they can't really answer any questions coming from regular Joe Schmo like me, right? And so I just thought it was weird. And then again, I said, it feels weird he's lying. Very interesting response. I wasn't expecting that from you. Thanks, Scott. And he said, no, he's okay. He just felt sorry for them and wanted to help. He is harmless, I promise. I liked him. So did Greg. And he said, uh, I'm glad I'm, I'm one of your favorites or whatever. And so I kind of felt weird with that response, Carl, um, because why would they like someone like a Tim Mullen? I just, I don't, I don't know. What do you think about this, guys? Hello, Shay. Hello, Chat as well. And I was just seeing that because when Don done his interview with the behavior panel, I done a series of videos because I basically did not trust Scott Roush after I think it was Scott. It was one of the Scots. In the, mm. If there's two Scots, it, it was one of them. But I think it may have just been Scott Roush. Now, yeah. there was a part at the start of the interview when he sort of played down the alleged essay abuses. And he, what he said was, though, he played it down in, in, like a, 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 in the most unprofessional and quite disturbing way possible. Hmm. Um, when he said all this stuff about my sisters, etc., uh, Mr. Scott said to Don, yeah, that's just um, kids playing playing touchy-feely. Mm. Yeah, you know, you're right, Carl. He, I don't think I saying, caught that. I yeah, did. He, he did. He was saying more or less like, oh, that's kids playing like mummies and daddies or something, you know, something like perverted like that. And, hmm. and there was a part at the end where they say to, to Don, "Have is there any pictures of David Dotson with... Summer, and Don said, "Yeah, I think so. I think there's a few." And um, and the the guys on the behavior panel said, "Yeah, we'd really love to see those." But I've always yep. posed the question in my videos: "Well, mm. where are these pictures?" Right. Um, now that's well, interesting because Don told me that there is still a camera or two that they have not received back. And I said, did the feds have it? He goes, I don't think so, because it would be on the list of things. But he has sworn up and down to me multiple times that he and Candace have gotten everything back from TABI, but there's still one or two uh, missing cameras they have not gotten back yet. And, and I don't want to interrupt, but uh, no. I've showed it on my channel also. There are pictures uh, where uh, David was at church with and Robin and Summer were sitting in this booth. Yes. And he was all creepily waving and, and stuff. And she was like forcing she like her. She was, yeah, she looked like, Summer looked like she did not want no part mm -hmm. of that guy. Mm -hmm. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. So you kind of, um, let me ask you, Carl. So, um, I don't know, devil's advocate, if you will. Yeah. Do you think that they would possibly pretend this and put up a front to try and make them comfortable with them like they do believe them or you're kind of picking up on things that are very like i think it was subliminal subliminal yeah subliminal. just like yeah. just said it without without thinking so to hmm. say just um oh yeah yeah now it's interesting because yeah i definitely when when i had this conversation with scott i remember i i was very upset and i said well i will no longer i don't believe now in the behavioral panel i don't trust them now 
because how could I when they're backing Tim Mullen of all people? And yeah. I, I started going back and watching some of their old stuff and I, I even, yeah. So, okay, so that's interesting. So I'm not crazy to think that there's something wrong about that. There was a picture of Tim Mullen with Don Wells and the behavior panel. As yes, well. and that just, just looking at that just makes me feel wrong. More, that feels yeah. dark. It does looking at it. I got a there, dark vibe from it. Myself, myself, and there was another part. Now, I know uh, what else caught my attention. Now, I know this is a little bit sort of my feel, but even yourself, Cher, yeah, you'll speak about things like this. And I don't know, Don spoke about when he went to prison, he found brotherhood and everything since then has just been good. And they sort of give him a little magic wink or something. And I was just thinking, what type of brotherhood is this that you found in prison, Don? Mm. And they're just sort of little outskirts things, what Don does say in that interview and what, what happens with Roush. But there's other things in that interview which are very, very, very prominent still as well. And one of the main things that I always pick up on is when Don Wells tells us that Robin Lane was taking Summer out. He says at that time, um, when Robin first met, when they first joined the church and Robin first met them, Don says that's when he first met them and Robin's been taking somewhere else since then and robin tells us the time frame in her mcdonough interview then so we've got to put them both side to side and that's when robin says um maybe two and a half years maybe now mm -hmm. that interview was in july the 24th 2021 so two two years before then um two and a half years before then you're talking the end of 2018 towards the very start of 2019 if so when he correct, was so. in utah um i do you know what where um, am i off on that right okay don got back from utah slightly before okay the 14th of october because in the 911 call now in in don's behavior panel interview everyone i sort of i'm under the impression what's your impression of when did don get home What's the chat's impression of when Don gets home? Because I think the general consensus was at one time that Don sped home from Utah. And when he gets home, Candace is having a drink with Jose Roman and then right. they start fighting. And it's, if I'm not mistaken, that's sometime around October 18th or something like that. That was okay. October. <laughs> yeah. It, it, that, that time frame always threw me off. Sometime yeah, in no, October. I can, I can set, I can set that, that timeline straight for you right now because the 911 call with, with Candace when she says what I allege, what she says, I won't, I won't go into that now, so, so to say. Thank but you're on that 911 call that was on the 14th of October 2020. Now, in that in that phone call you hear Candace say he's trying to blame me now for breaking the lawnmower he was out there the other day and he broke the lawnmower now he's trying to blame me so that double backs up my theory that mm. Don Wells didn't get home on the 14th on the night of the fight with Jose etc he got home slightly before then because Don says to the behavior panel he says um we were having a drink one night he says he got back from Utah and then further down the line he says we were having a drink one night so that tells me he was settled he was in the same place as jose for a few days before this flare-up happened and candace sort of confirms it when she says to the police officer and um, donnie's trying to blame me for, for breaking the lawnmower now he broke it a few days ago but he's trying to blame me now so that's why i know don got back from utah a few days before exactly the, mm -hmm. the Carl's right. Call. yeah Carl's right just another little element of it there for you. But again, what you were talking about before, the David Dotson stuff. Now, it's David Dotson's daughter, Hannah, in the interview, what she does with JLR. When she tells us that they went for pizza, he, Dave says it as well in the Unmasked interview, but she tells us a little bit. She says it as well, like he, she says, we went for pizza. She says she was in work in Ulta Beauty. Ulta Beauty. Hmm. And... David was with her most of the day. Now, I've always posed the question, why, I, I'm a man, and you can ask Mark yourself, Shay, none of us men, we don't like going into them big, massive, humongous beauty cosmetics. Right, I believe you, yeah. With his underwear and makeup and, and you know, I mean, yeah, we just don't like it in them shops. Like, mm -hmm. I, so I've always posed the question, okay, how long was David Dotson in there? Because she tried to make out, oh, David was in, his dad was in work with her for, for like basically all day. You can check the mm. CCTV if you want. 
but I don't think that's quite so. That what they do then, she says that they left her work. She doesn't give us an exact time that she left work. But I just say, I just take it that if she's been in work in the daytime, around about time of say four thirty to five thirty, she then says that they go for a pizza, and she lives over towards past Kingsport, as we know, just just past Kingsport, isn't it, where they lived? Now, so I thought, okay, then maybe the pizza place where they went to, because Ultra Beauty, it was in Churchill. That's where she worked in Churchill. So David Dotson's been in Churchill. I've done all the map work on this as well, the times. So David Dotson was 25 minutes away from Ben Hill Road that day. And in Churchill having pizza. And then, as we know, later on, Robin Lane's allegedly meant to have said to them, I'll go and pick some pizzas up. And I've always posed the question that, like, David Dotson would say, oh, no, if Robin said to David, eh, get a pizza, get some pizza, he's a... Either went, oh no, I've just come out the pizza shop and burping pizza. I don't really want to eat no more pizza. And then a joke that Robin might say, well, it's not for you, is it? It's for the kids and for the wells, etc. But I wonder if that type of conversation did actually take place. Um, I've heard Robin say that she paid for the pizza, or David said that she paid for the pizza as well. Right. So there's these things around this pizza, and then David shows up at the pizza, and it's my. Um, belief that that's when they sort of say Don went up on the hill first before Robin I'm sorry David went up on the hill first because he's probably said yeah get these pizzas before they go cold I'm just trying to put some human nature into this weird scenario if 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 you know what I mean so I think the pizza is a, is a point of interest as well but there's other ones I don't want to sort of take over and dominate the, the conversation so I'll just see what you think Oh, she's muted. Fair enough. Sorry about that. It's okay. I was trying to find, Carl, one of your videos, but you... Do you know what? I'll share all of my videos mainly are all on the backup channel. So if, if you're on oh. a computer, which you are, go to the yep. third podcast one, and that's where everything still is, basically. Okay, um, I'll do yeah. that. I'll do I, that. I, I think... videos from this year. And you can use the search bar when you're on a computer. Just go along, past community, past videos and all them, and you see the search bar, and just type in Dotson or Robin or okay. Pizza. I've got the long one-hour live stream on there, and that's where I go on all about the pizza and Robin's little slips through up the time. Can you line. guys make sure to drop Carl's channel, please? Um, make sure you get that in the chat, because, yeah, you guys want to go over. He has been covering this stuff from day one as well, you guys. And he goes where people don't want to go. I know that I get absolutely annihilated for people don't want me to, you know, how dare Cher dig into the church and blah, 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 blah. Uh, Carl has, like, yeah. oh, my gosh. Hey, Carl, can I ask you a question? Yeah, sure. Um, Hello, what do you mean? Do you, hey, um, do you, and, and I remember hearing this. You may have done it. Uh, you may have talked about this where david dodson uh it was something about uh the an sda church that had caught fire mm. and they were uh if i can remember i'm trying to remember it correctly um maybe wait it wasn't sda church it, i thought it diff was a different religion i oh, don't maybe, remember about maybe, the church fire I, there was a church fire, but it was in it was in a, a, I want to say another state, and mm. I and I have to find out that I didn't pull that up in my notes, but someone was associating actually uh, David Dotson having uh, something to do with this church and Don actually going to help rebuild the church. But I'd have to find my notes on it. I know it's out there. I just didn't know if Carl, if you Don knew. Don Wells went that. and helped rebuild the church? Help rebuild the church, but it was in, in another a different state. state. Right. Hmm. And, and it possibly wasn't an SDA church, but they were putting uh, Don and David uh, together as being associated with this church that had caught fire. Strange, strange, strange. Um, 
I cannot remember that personally. Like, I cannot remember that. I just want to say out of a side, out of a little quick side show there that lip lock no more. I'm not gonna go on. But she says that she can't believe me, unfortunately, because she knows without shadow of doubt that she's lied about me. I've never told a single well, lie about her. I've only ever used your own words, lip locks, and that's I'm just saying this with courtesy right now. I can't be bothered with you really. But I've never lied about you. Everything that I've ever said about you has just been basically using your own words and your own actions. Uh, I've never lied. I've seen I you don't actively know that you lie. guys had issues. Yeah, I've seen her lie about me about a hundred times. And she knows she's lying when she does it. She's, she's absolutely deluded. But I'm here to present proper information which can help you. And a lot of the things which I've reported on remain unanswered. And basically, I'm not doing anything else on this case. Be until while I've got that many unanswered questions, but what we're talking about now is part of my unanswered questions package. <laughs> I, I want the answers to the things which have already presented, so that's why any conversations like this do interest me. Now, I do like to, I, I show don't tell, so that's why people like who may get offended sometimes without naming any names by my style, etc. But there's other things as well, share which I'd like to raise with you on the platform because I, I do know and I do respect that you are one of the only people in this community who has covered the church. Um, I was making some comments last time in your live chat about Tim Mullen actively mm -hmm. um, tracking Seven Day Adventist members going as far back as I've found to 2020, February 2020. So mm. I've got all of this proof, okay, lip locks. I've got the screenshots from Tim Mullen's own Kingsport.me pages and his own Facebook oh, pages. Oh, yes, that video, yes. Well, we don't all have to agree. I don't know, you're probably exactly. just, that's your, you know. Well, yeah, well, I was just saying well, it because maybe I, if she maybe... wants to tell. Like maybe... I said, Carl, we some people go a little bit darker than some people's minds mm. can can handle and well, it's just I, I know it's, this is Cher's channel will you let me just be yeah, here for a minute yes yeah, yeah, this sure. is the thing Carl um you know we 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 all can have all kinds of different personal feelings about each other or each other's content and but the thing about it is if we cannot put that aside and all of us come together to have the discussions like we're doing right now um mm -hmm. you know what what's the purpose in all of it you know yeah. Um, yeah. So I, I know, I know how you feel, and I know how she feels, um, and I, I'm good with both of you, and she would appreciate that about me, and I hope that you would also. I know you don't know me, um, but we we have to kind of put our feelings about how we feel about each other. Yeah, I agree. I, I never said that. And I, I literally did yeah. respond to her comments. Um, so she said that I'm not sitting here talking about her while she's commenting in chat. She said something about me, so over the rest of them. And okay, well, I, I, I get it. I get it. I well, lip locked. On. I uh, have no issues with you. I like you, and if you have any issues with Carl, I like Carl. We've had our own spats, but I do like Carl, and I also do have a lot of same beliefs I, as Carl. So I enjoy his content. So if you don't enjoy it, that's just maybe stuff you don't watch. Uh, that's yeah, okay. That's I mean, that's, that's okay. That's um, Carl, I do want to plan a show with you for sure because I want to talk more Tim Mullen. I want to send you what he sent my husband about me. It was wild. It was almost like, yeah, I, I sent it to re remain calm and he'll like have this whole conversation with my husband almost like he's trying to um, be more of a man than my husband. Like he wants my yeah. husband to feel like superior or you do you know what, yeah. I, what i mean like he like he's he, got more models and values yes. and a higher standing yeah maybe and he and so he he the way he talks to my husband makes me feel sick because he's like he's trying to it like insert his authority over my husband which is just another man and he is not he, above my husband sorry how dare you think you, know, you are um, and then me, talk shit about me to my husband let me, and be let me like tell you. oh your little old wife over there and i'm not one to trash talk a female but you when, know your little when, wife listen when i read that share the first thing that went through my mind yeah, is the comments saying? that don wells makes that he um, sa he that, talks uh, just like him right yes that uh, men uh what how does he put it men men ain't no good women trash men or something like that i would have to find the exact 
verbiage he used to use, but basically, you know, uh, men go downhill with women or something. Yeah, it it's was, it was so really, crazy, Carl. Yeah, he is very crazy, weird. and he has, like, a very big hatred for women in general, I feel like. You, we picked that up, don't we, on a personal sense, just the way he, he, the way he says he seems to want to demean people um, and put himself above everyone, so to say. We do hear that with his language towards YouTubians. Mm-hmm. Now, I know it's only, that's only a minor case, but that is Tim Mullen for you. And if there's a problem something or a problem person in his way, then maybe he may go a little bit more, and that's what you've seen then and felt then. I've never mm-hmm. really seen Tim do that. I've just seen him be an odd weirdo. <laughs> or when, if you're on a more of a personal level with him from any even mutual friends or something, then he, he may feel like more let down, like, why should I say in this? And do you know when like wanna approach you and Mark more because he knows that you have got con, con, uh, contact with Donna, etc. as well. Mm-hmm. So and again, yeah, that'd be someone who's got something to hide, maybe, because that's the only way you'd act like that, isn't it, really? Right. And I don't mean <laughs> I'm not saying he's he's trying to hide where summer is or something, but just something, something's just not sitting right within his, his um, yeah, how he's operating. Because it's there. like women, women should be subservient to their men. Yeah. And if you, if you remember the conversation, I think it was, uh, was uh, Dawn or something, Candace's friend had that conversation with Tim that um, he was no longer the sm- spokesman for the family that mm-hmm. uh, Candace wanted her to be. And he made the comment that uh, Don was his best friend mm-hmm. and um, that as long as something about um, as long as she was Don's wife, he would handle it to his own accord or some crap like that. Yeah. And I was like, are you kidding me? Yeah. Hmm. The ma- while Don's the man in the house. Yeah. Type of, yeah. Well, yeah. well, not being funny or nothing, but then values are well, they, they, sorry, sort of gone with the wind, as the saying goes. So they're very old, outdated values, mm-hmm. right? Right now, women are very independent nowadays. Women, in in, in a lot of cases, society are much stronger, um, living better lives than a lot of the men, so to say. So that that is a little bit too outdated within this uh, this time frame. But I'm not surprised though because. It, it's got to take someone with some st- if he can if he can be a be a friend with Don and Kansas and still not know whether they have actually done something to someone then how can you trust his his, his instinct or his opinion? I don't think that's the answer. Oh, you kind of cut out a little bit there. Sorry, sorry. I was saying um, it's it can't trust his opinion. Um, or models because he's basically just he's showing that through his support of the wells without actually knowing if they have done anything to summer his blind support of them is questionable so we cannot trust his opinions or mm. his points of view um, when at the end of the day he could be completely wrong and the police may arrest on Kansas tomorrow and then who's got the egg on the face so to say Tim Mullen mm. um, how do you yeah. guys feel that it's Tim Mullen who stopped me from getting a team, not just a attorney, and a, a team, there was three different attorneys, and pro bono was the conversation had, and they still went out, like I said, like, well, at that time, you know, money wasn't coming in in Summer's case, but I said, there's no money in this, like, I know that Don can't go and put down 10 grand to retain you guys, but I said, like, this is over the media all across the world. And I even said to the attorneys that I know that there are some of us that would use our platform to uh, fund a retainer for them as well. And they said, you know what, um, let us look this up. And so they, with me on the phone, started looking things up. And um, the conversation, like I said, ended with being pro, bo- a pro bono team of attorneys, one mm-hmm. which would uh, specifically was to help with the media side of things, uh, one for criminal attorney and one was something else I don't remember. Mm-hmm. And Don seemed honestly very excited that I was able to do that for him. I got the appointment all set. In fact, Don just had to 
do a little drive. And if Don couldn't drive and meet halfway, they were willing to go directly to Don. So mm. Don said, I'll meet halfway. Okay, I arranged it with the attorneys. And then all of a sudden I'm getting phone calls from the attorneys that Don's no call, no show. So then I'm getting in touch with Don and Don's like, okay, well, I'm running a little bit later. Okay, okay. And I could tell that somebody was saying something else in his ear. And then I mm. had it where the attorneys were willing to wait wherever they were for a couple hours for Don to get there. And anyways, it didn't happen and go to turn out. I, now, I didn't know that it was Tim Mullen, but I knew that there was somebody there. And then sure, mm. shit, it's Tim Mullen. Tim Mullen stopped all of that. And I think that's very fucking weird. Why yeah. would you stop that? No idea. No idea. Again, why would you? Why would you knock down the? Why would you turn away professional advocates from the police? Um, professional support people who are who are trained to deal with the emotions of what's happened to the Welsh. Why would you turn that down for a media yep. manager? Any, and any I case? even said, Don, I realize that this means you're not going to be probably talking to anyone on YouTube, but this is your rights, and I want to make sure that things are done right. So here you go. So yes, I had a media manager who probably, who 99% sure would have said, stay the fuck off of social media, all of that. But you mm -hmm. know what? You have to remember too, they uh, even from the beginning they didn't, stopped it all they yeah. did not even accept any help from law enforcement the advocates and mm -hmm. and people who actually had had really dealt with you know the parents of missing children and stuff don and mm -hmm. candace wanted no part of that right and not to change the subject but i seen somebody in chat talking about like the three hour time frame mm. uh, uh the day summer went missing i'm interested in that whole day i want to know from the I am... moment they woke up yeah. till yep. summer went missing i want to know all of it i am I also interested in another day the day that michael monkey vaughn went missing i would love to know a few days prior and that day and even a few days after tim mullins alibis where were where were you sir yeah i want to know weird. i'd like to know tim mullen's movements on on the 15th of june for the yep. full day i've posed that question mm -hmm. uh, it was a friend or an ex friend who triggered that question in me but yeah it's a, it's a valid question where was he on that day all True. day we hear him say it, he, he, he heard the same way as everyone else did he got an alert on his phone he heard it on the news Radio right. read it in the paper. So which one was it, Tim, and where was you that day? We still don't know where he was on the fifteenth. Right. I've got no idea. Can I? Could I just raise the topic about what would you when when did Tim? What would you say? There's a difference between Tim Mullen being aware of the church members or not going to the church. Do you think mm -hmm. that's him? knew some of the church members before june the 15th mm -hmm. or... do, you, do you remember what i used to say really early on i know and and actually jody sue has slipped up but i have always said it, it sure feels like they all knew who some of us were before we knew even this case and tim uh... mullen said he specifically chose youtube because it was smaller fires to put out uh, Jody Sue has slipped up and said, oh, I used to watch blah, blah, blah before Summer even went missing. Like, I fully believe that in a sick, weird way, we were chosen and we were good. watched before. Oh, absolutely. I, I, I think Tim Mullen knew who all of us were called. I, I, yes. I do. If and I 100% I, 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 I believe that um, they watched Benny. They knew how Benny's reactions were. They knew they knew mm -hmm. quite a little bit about Benny before they really started, you know, messing with Benny. So a motive for that, if if that was all true and everything, and and that definitely happened type of thing. One possible motive or reason for doing so, and this is just this is just talking about that possibility, and that would be if you seen how hey, something works and you wanted to operate a scam maybe and you wanted to and you knew how where the platform was to draw all the money in i'd say that would be a money motivated reason maybe 
I think there'd be money behind that being the most of four doing something like tracking YouTubers, watching mm. them, seeing how they work, seeing how the subscribers work around certain cases, if they're sending money in, super chats, etc. So I think that would bring a possible motive for that behaviour could be financial. Um, hmm. But then maybe it's just like, let's let's plan for missing kids. We've seen um, Cash Gannon, we've seen the West Boys, we've seen how they work. So should we do our own one now and make, make another kid go missing hmm. and then we all cash in on it? Hmm. Um, financial. Mm-hmm. Hmm. And you know that Mullen actually runs, that's everyone's like, why doesn't Don just go on his own channel? Well, Don Wells Family Official is actually owned Tim and Michelle. ran by Tim Mullen, and so hmm. is one of Candace's channels. Somehow he ends up taking control of them all. And that channel is monetized. I saw ads on some of the stuff, so that's going to Tim Mullen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, I'd love to see you re-dig into Tim Mullen's relationship with Ansley Daniels and how far back that goes, Carl, because he was the one who was Ansley Daniels' family and their farm's photographer for many years, even when she was a minor and going into school, and now she's the lead on Summer's case. It seems to be fed through Tim Mullen on what she gets with that as well. And so I always thought that was very interesting i never knew that because yes that's, yep. thank, that's a that's a that's a great little um snippet yeah. of information thank you because mm -hmm. i don't trust i'm not saying that i don't trust Andy, but i don't trust wjhl yes and... me neither yes go back and look and sp go to her family her facebook everything and you'll see all mm. the pictures of her and the farm and their family pictures that they take out every year at the farm that's tim mullins and you'll even what if you look through the comments like i get bored sometimes and i read all the comments on the facebooks and stuff you'll see tim yeah. mullins in there talking with ansley and the family wow, and thank wow, you wow, and wow yeah well, tim mullins is their vision. photographer they... yep I, I I always wondered who was putting these these YouTubers into the positions like Jody Sue done the interview with with them and then we had Brad Wishing cracking cases so I yeah, always I felt that the, the media was mm. pulling some sort of strings in this like, just just like because Angela Daniels also said where they have to place balloons and then I was like what do you mean they have and she changed herself you know, when, when they're talking about Solomon's Temple at the prayer garden which they made. And the reporter said, "We're at Solomon's Temple Baptist Church, where they have to, where they have placed balloons." And I just thought, like, why would they have to place balloons if you're scripting something? You'd have to place balloons. But it's, other, other than that, your brain wouldn't subliminally say they have to. Maybe it was just a mistake. But that was one of the times when I caught on to the news acting a bit strange in, in all of this case. And it's not the first news company that I've got me suspicions about either. Mm -hmm. There's a couple of them. But yeah, Angela Daniels, what, why you've just surprised me with what you said is because she's done a report once about all the suspects in the Summer Wells case. And what she's done, she has a wall behind her, a brick wall, and she was sticking people's photographs on the wall. No, so it was like... Yes, I've seen that. And hmm. she stuck Tim Mullen on there. And I felt, yes. I, I felt it was a message to, you know, a little bit of a... She was just got pulled, taken off the gloves in a little with a little dig through them, and she yeah she yes. had Tim Mullen's face mm -hmm. on that. It was like a, a, a suspect wall that the police had put together, yes. but she's done her own one. Hmm. I talked about that on my channel so many times because mm -hmm. um, it was the way she worded it, um, I, and I can't remember the exact word, but it was people who were um, uh, something in the case, and it was uh, Grandma. Uh, Candace Dawn, uh, I can't remember if she stuck the boys up there, but Robin, David Dodson, and Tim Mullins, people who were invested in mm -hmm. Summer's case. Invested means a lot of different things, and it can mean monetary-wise, too. And mm -hmm. I've talked about that I don't know how many times. Interesting. Summer yes. cells. Yeah. Summer yes. cells, yeah. I still want to know, and I want to pose the question again. I've got at least 12 screenshots from Tim Mullins, Kingsport.me, mm. Facebook page and Instagram. When he says in his own bread lazy video, oh, I didn't know anyone from the church between two and six minutes. I've got it all on my article now, and the article is yeah. even open in front of me. I could share the screen if you want to share. But he says he, he 
it, it plays down any relationship of, with the church, any knowledge of the church, people more or less, and just brushes it off and says, I have not been near that church for years. Mm-hmm. I was up there doing a some sort, I watched a seminar of some sort, a shindig, up there a few years ago, and that's it, that's it. So when I go and scroll through his Facebook page and type into the search bar, Seven Day Adventists, and all you see, loads of them going all the way back, as far back as I found February 2020, is Tim Mullen sharing a whole load of Seven Day Adventist page posts in February 2020 onwards, including, as we as we all know, on the Mother's Day, May the 9th, um 2021 now we know robin lane gave so uh, sorry robin lane received the the jewelry from summer but i assume that was on the 8th because that would have been the saturday and that's when the church likely will will would have attended yep. mass right. that weekend but tim mullen tagged himself out of all of it, the the posts which he shared to his page he he you. only tagged himself in the one and that was the mother's day picture so saying he was outside the church on mother's day and he's got his own photo credit on it but that's not the first time because he has also credited himself with a photo in the november 2020 photographs as well so i've got him there in in 2020 so why Mm. why 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 when he says he he always didn't know nothing about these church members or nothing um Mm. i've been up there years ago and that's it uh, that to me, there's the light. There's a light. Why him? Why? Why did you say that? He said he makes these videos like he, yeah, he lies. But his videos always seem like he's trying. He's putting these things out as alibis. I'm convinced. Like he's mm-hmm. trying. He he is doing this for a jury one day. I'm convinced because this. I'm not buying any of it. That goes back to the point that I was making before in the chat. Now, it, right? Say if me, you, share and remain calm. If we all conspired now to commit a crime, but we, because we knew that we we're going to commit the crime, we could also pre-plan our alibis. We could all <laughs> arrange with a, a, a fourth party, what it would be in this case, to commit the crime. Whereas me, you, and Remain Calm would all still know that this crime's going down. But we're right. all... Because Robin Lane... She she based her alibi. She established her alibi on her YouTube channel in the, with the Happy Steppers Dance Class video that she done, where she right. absolutely doxed about thirty <laughs> little kids. So there's her alibi established from the fifteenth of June. This is where I was, and I told Chris McDonough that I was um, using my fancy camera and me fan, me fancy backdrop. So she's establishing her alibis there. But I think that I think Tim Mullen, David Dotson, and Robin Lane. More so Robin Lane in all of this as well. I, I suspect here more mm. of of pre-planning their alibis because they hold knowledge of what was going to happen. That's my opinion based on what she said and the little lies. Mm-hmm. And again, pre-planting the alibi. And like you've just said with Tim Mullen, pre-planting the alibis. The only reason you do that is if you've got something to hide again. Mm-hmm. See, and I agree with you, Carl, because I've even talked about this on my channel. If Don and candace or one or the other um knew that something at some point may go down and uh they're not really sure who the person is that may come up and and allegedly uh take summer or something like that when they would go in to get a lie detector test and they were asked do you know who took your daughter and they say no they could be telling the truth, exactly, but yeah. still know that this crime was going to happen. They just didn't mm. know who exactly was going to do it or mm. what day it was going to happen. Absolutely. Their behaviors dictate that sort of thing as well, certainly with Robin Lane. And as, you, as the points that you were raising, Robin Lane was getting calls from Kansas while she's in the Happy Steppers dance class. Have you seen that video, Shay? Uh, it's been some time, but yeah, I yeah, yeah, yeah. I can aware. recall what you're talking about. Yeah, you're aware. So Robin's, as you said, Robin's taking calls, ignoring them, ignoring them, and she pulls a funny uh-huh. and look at it's a body language when you watch that video with Chris McDonough that she does. She she sort of she pulls a face like Kansas is bothering her, 
And so then she's in the car, like he says, and the phone rings again, but it's David Dotson. So she exactly. answers the phone to David Dotson. She's okay answering it to him. She's ignoring Candace, but answering yeah. it to Dotson. That could be, mm-hmm. are we okay? Uh, 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 what's going on? Candace is phoning me. Do you know, panicking because they might have done something. So then Candace calls in, like the main calm said before, that's correct. And Robin answers the phone, and that's when Robin first says that that she she became aware that summer was missing. Um, there's a slight discrepancy as well. If I we can talk about it, it's David Dotson in the unmasked interview. He says that he got the call from Kansas the first time at seven thirty. He then right. said Kansas, Kansas told him that summer's only been missing for twenty five minutes. So when I raised this point. Now, that takes it to five past seven. We know that the yep. mission call went in at 25 past six. So, so right, people people can, can say, like, in to, to argue this point, why did David Dotson say he had... At 7.30, David Dotson said that Summer Wells has only been missing 25 minutes, according it's, to yep. Candace. Mm. So, OK, you can say to that, oh, well, maybe Dotson was all confused with his times, but okay, I say to that, well, Dotson has got a mobile phone like any of us. We can all right. check times of calls. So I assume by the time he's made all his interviews, he's checked these things and looked at times, etc. Yeah, because and we know us, he does because he was taking selfies with the boys and posting them. So we know he got a phone on him. Yeah, well, actually, Robin Lane's got the credit for that photograph. If you if you look, oh. if you take, if you have a double take at that photograph, okay. WJHL published that photograph and they gave uh, okay robin the credits yeah yeah okay uh, uh, interesting yeah. hmm okay yep. so then we've got some dynamics going off here around david's and robin's timeline around about say we assume 5 30 david's was over in where i think is going to be churchill in somewhere called roma pizza with his daughter mm. there's two pizza places where you can eat in in churchill um, within the vicinities of Hannah's work, Hannah Dotson's work, Ulta Beauty. So as that's taking place then, as they're sitting down for pizza, Robin Lane's making her way to the Happy Steppers dance class. She finishes the Happy Steppers dance class around 7.30, which is when Dotson calls, calls her. In between that time, Dotson goes home with his daughter, and he's just at home with his daughter. After being 25 minutes away when in, in Churchill, allegedly, when summer goes missing, the next thing he's at home, 7.30, and his phone rings, and it's Candace who tells him. So, again, I'd love to know where Dotson was in that little time period between Ulta Beauty, the pizza shop, and then when he, came, when he drove home from the pizza shop, what way did he drive? Did he just go straight north? Um, did he just head straight east? to Kingsport or did he what does he do? Does he head in a little bit towards um Ben Hill? Because he's all we know that he's, he's got family on Ben Hill Road who were arrested that what's his name? The the other Dotson who was arrested on. Uh his, his we have to re- on, we you, have you, to remember you, we have to remember too Carl that Robin said David had already been up on the hill. Yes, David had been there earlier in the day and brought them pizza. And mm-hmm. and and he remember he, that he yep. was up on the hill when Robin got there. Uh, I I don't know if they had called each other, but he had just went down. He had been up praying with the family. She said, yeah. And then he went down the hill. And the law enforcement wouldn't let him back up. That's because what they yeah, were yeah, bringing. That's what Don the, told me too. We're bringing yeah. the dogs up there. So and Don says, "Yeah, he brought us pizza." Yeah. <laughs> but again, where did the pizza come from? Then, okay, yeah, was it the first pizza shop? Because Robin, I now this is this is a this is David a Dotson brought the pizza there earlier that day. That's what was always weird to me when they said that. So that made me feel on weird. The so like what time? Yeah, on the fifteenth. So I always wondered like when was that? At like five or 
six thirty, because like right after the police arrived. Because nobody supposedly arrived, was home, but the boys, yeah. right? No, and listen to exactly what Robin says. David Dotson was er there earlier that day and had brought them pizza, and that's what Don told me too. Yes, David Dotson was here and brought them pizza, and Robin got there. David David Dotson was already there, but went down to like the bottom, left the house to go down to meet Robin, and from my understanding, they got in the same car together to go give pictures to the police because the police didn't have good enough pictures. But now, fit. Shay, where you're getting that from is the lost interview. That's gone, 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 gone. Because oh, shit. But that's what right. Don told me. Oh, oh, was it? Okay, okay. I can remember. Was it was it Don that said this to you? Because I can remember early on. Yeah, and part of it is from the interview too. But yeah, I don't know where that interview... Okay. Yeah. I yeah. remember it being said that Robin and Dotson were in the same car. Mm -hmm. And um, or sorry, there's another time when Robin paid for the for the pizza for Dotson to pick up, to pick up. Hmm. And that's the lost interview. That shout was in in a, in an interview which which is long gone. I can't remember where it was. But can anyone else remember that way where uh, the Dotson? I think it must have been Dotson because he spoke more, and he said that it was said then that robin paid for it and i was thinking why that didn't must he have, have been some the money? unmasked interview then no because no, I've, I've got, got that. that one i've got okay. that and i've okay. listened to I've it that that hmm. so and then i that remember leads... it i'd love to know where that went because i know for a fact it definitely is it there's too many dynamics there for me so they just made it up in mm -hmm. dream worlds or something and it, and again it's the payments it's the payments it's allegedly it was Robin who made the payments and Dotson went and picked the pizza up. But then again, we know Dotson's just left what I suspect is Roma Pizza, 25 minutes away in Churchill, um, north of Ben Hill, isn't it? I think it's north. So I, I don't know. Again, like you say, it's a little bit weird then if Robin phones Dotson and says, oh, do you fancy going and picking the pizza up? And he may just say, yeah, for the kids. But at the same time, he may just pass the comments. Like she might have said, should we get some pizza? And then may not be like oh i've just eaten pizza and then robin may just sublimely say okay we should we get chinese or something i don't know where this this second pizza's come into play where mm. from because there is that first time when because in the day he, he, his daughter tells us they were in the pizza shop mm. she works in church hill So one of and them Dotson is was alive around. for sure. Yeah, Dotson was Dotson was probably yeah. In, if you think about the map, the map on this, the, the, the um, you've got Jody Sue was the closest person mm -hmm. out of everyone that we know about, apart from the Wells family. The next closest person, as far as I know, at that time, apart from your Fred Lights and etc. Um, but is Dotson. And as I said, he was only like a 25 minute drive. Local knowledge, may, you may do the journey in 20, 15 minutes or something. So, he dots and could have been around that area. Could have been around that area. Who knows? But he's joined the church. He was very friendly with Summer, waving at Summer, all this type of stuff. We know he's gone all around the world looking, um, mm -hmm. sorry, not looking, but um, going to Egypt, having dinner with vice presidents and taking photographs right. of lots of the vulnerable very misunfortunate children in them sort of countries which i just found quite odd mm -hmm. i'll definitely uh and get you in got my robin going to different countries always posing yeah. up with different little kids and stuff and right. working for the adoption agency and yeah. carl i don't know if you know but I sent some stuff to Benny, and what I stumbled across, I've kept it quiet because I'd be shocked if TBI doesn't know about it, but um, it is insane. Has he shown no. you anything crazy no, no, about no. the church? No? Okay, no. well, we'll be in touch. We, 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 we decided to keep it quiet like for a little a bit, month. but... I may call them once a month, and okay. in, in between, then it's just busy, busy, busy. Oh, for, Carl, we need to... Call. We seriously need to talk. She allegedly was doing uh missionary work well there's college. that but she works for like don and i have had numerous and he'll either ignore the question or sometimes he'll deny it but when he denies it i feel like it's someone telling him to tell me that but mm. then it's like he doesn't know at all but yeah i do believe that she does work for the seventh day adventist adoption business and i call it business because they have mm. seventh day uh, adventist adoption loans and yeah. It's crazy, but uh, I've got some stuff I, I want well, to talk to you about, Carl, and I we'll have to chat. 
I but you will. guys, I have to go to, I, I work in 25 minutes, so I do have to end this show. I apologize, well, but I we promise, have a lot more I, talking to I, do. I, I promise I will go through my notes and see what I can yes. find on David Dotson, because I think I might have that interview transcribed. That okay, and about. then let's pick this up tomorrow. If you want to plan it on your channel, Remain Calm, I'll go over there and okay. Okay, let's yeah, continue the that. conversation over there. Yeah. I'll do that. Yeah, idea. just get with yes, me. Let Kyle. me know what time you want to do it and stuff. And <laughs> okay, I'm I'm gonna pop over and do a little live tonight and get with Perfect. my people and stuff. Perfect. And, and uh, so I'll just leave the time open tomorrow. You let me know and we'll go okay. live when you want. Thank All you, right. Carl, for thank uh, you, main calm. Go over to my article. To get, look look through any of my videos with Tim Mullen in the in the title and click the article. And there's a load on there about Dotson and Robin, but I need to complete Robin's timeline on there, which I may even have in and do now. But I've okay. got a ton of screenshots and info there for you. Um, but yeah, okay, great. Thanks for having me, and thanks for the chat as well. Yeah, um, okay. thanks, Carl. We'll see you soon. Thank yep, you. talk soon. All right. Thanks All for right, your main time. I'll text you shortly and let you know. And All right, doll. All Had right, a great thank time. you. I actually, I'm we have good nervous. conversations. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You definitely. seem really calm. That is good. All right, All right. Well, cool. tomorrow on your channel, Re okay. to be continued. To be continued. To be All right, girl. Uh, All right, just bye. like I said, text me. Bye. I will. All right. Thank you, everyone, for listening. I appreciate that. And oh man, like we just—it's over for now, but still, so much to say. So we'll see you again tomorrow. Um, and um, yeah. Thanks, Carl. Thanks for being calm. Go and check out both their channels, you guys. And I've got so much. I didn't. I didn't even get to to bring it all up because then we get to talking and and yeah. But there's so much. So again, we're going back. I personally am going to start from uh, just a few months before Don went to jail the last time there, and we're going to do some digging and within uh, the church and everybody, everyone who's surrounded Summer. Time to get back at it. We got to try and curb balls and we got to like dodge these distractions the best we can. And then we got to get back on track. Okay. So love y'all. Have a good rest of your evening. Bye.